As long as I promised you, when you called that I would let you see the kids. You even told me to drop my lawyer, CJ. You told me to call my lawyer to drop everything because you don't want to do this anymore. You don't want the courts in our business. Okay guys, so I wanted to do a quick reaction to the whole situation that has been going on with Life with a Royalty Attorney. Now, Royalty uploaded a video, I wanna say about two weeks ago, titled Mini Trip to Cali with the Family slash the Truth. Now towards the end of the video, Royalty was speaking on the whole situation that has been going on with her and CJ. And she also mentioned that they had a meeting at the meditation and that her and CJ had a conversation speaking on her dropping her lawyer. So when you see that whole withdraw from counsel, that just means that she notify her attorney that she no longer needed her service. So I'm not sure who took the time to actually look that information up. Like Russ, he said, you guys are well too invested. I don't know anyone that will take any time out of their life to go on the court docket for goddamn Las Vegas to find out what is going on with Royalty and CJ Case. This is some scary shit, girl. Royalty, this is why I told you you need an order of protection because these people want to see you fail. Girl, they is after you. It's almost like bullying. And I'm going to say allegedly because that, that's what it is because the amount of videos that was made, you know, speaking ill will on Rosie about a lawyer and y'all don't even know the goddamn details now you do know if Rosie have a conversation with her lawyer let let's do the conversation for the incompetent motherfuckers so i'm royalty i'm gonna pick up my phone hello mr keon mr keon this is royalty so i'm deciding that i want to go ahead and drop you as an attorney moving forward so that means based off that conversation that him and royalty had he has to now go to the courthouse or maybe he can do it electronically i don't know he will have to go to the courthouse and request to be removed as the attorney for royalty it doesn't necessarily mean that the attorney called royalty and said hey royalty i can't deal with you no more i i can't i can't be your attorney no you cannot say that that's just common sense. You know when a plaintiff or a defendant chooses to move forward with a different lawyer, that lawyer has to go and motion to be withdraw. Because if he do not withdraw from the case, it's going to list him as an attorney. So I'm not sure why so many videos. And I mean, I get it. You know, drama brings in views, you know. So I, I, I get it. But I just think that when y'all reporting stuff, just make sure you have your facts with it, you know. And I just felt like all the videos that was made talking about she going to lose her keys because she don't have a lawyer. Do you know how many people went custody of their kids without a lawyer? And, 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 if, if, and if the case was that she wasn't no longer able to afford an attorney. Let me tell you something. An attorney will be appointed for her. It's called a court appointed lawyer. And they fight more for you than your goddamn regular attorney because you're paying a, a, a regular attorney all of this goddamn money to represent you where a court appointed lawyer could have did the same thing. And I hope you guys do know that if royalty does not have an attorney, the case is going to be continued. It's going to be continued, meaning it's going to be another court date. Another court date is going to be put in place. It's going to give her time to get another attorney. Or it could be, like she stated, her and CJ had a conversation. They could have both agreed on a mutual agreement on what they're going to do when it comes to the twins. You know, in that video, in that clip that I uploaded, you can go back and watch her video. She said that they had a conversation that they did not want the courts in their business. So that could be the whole situation. Who knows? Of course, I'm not an attorney, nor am I a judge, okay? But I do not feel that Royalty will lose custody of her kids. Royalty has not displayed anything in the YouTube streets that will make me question her ability as a parent. You know, CJ have to understand that this is someone he was with nine years. He know her parenting skills. I recall watching countless videos, unless he was acting, of him giving Royalty props for being a good mother. So I'm just shocked 
that all of this is going on. You know, it's like a big ass skit. Okay. At the end of the day, CJ doesn't want to be a full-time father. And I'm, it's no shade against CJ, but I just know, you know, he don't want, he wants to be a father. He wants to be a part of his kid's life, but having the kids seven days a week, every day. No, that's, that's not what CJ wants. I think what CJ wants is to be able to see his children. Just like Royce, he said in the video that CJ said that it, it's a lot. It's overwhelming. And it is. When you're a parent, a single parent of two kids, you know, by yourself. The twins are three years old. So it takes a lot of your time. So I just think, you know, and I'm hoping that they are able to work things out. You know, I do believe Royalty is going to keep primary custody of the kids. And again, the difference between primary custody or a custodian and non-custodian, let's, let's break this shit down for the incompetent motherfuckers, okay? A custodian parent is the parent that the child lives with at least 75% of the time, okay? The non-custodian parent, obviously, is the parent that maybe sees the kids 25%. Royalty and CJ was not married at the time of the birth of the kids. So even though CJ signed the birth certificate for the children, they are still considered illegitimate kids, okay? All right? So a lot of the times, fathers have to legitimize their kids. And when they legitimize their kids, it's a whole court process because again, they were not married when the kids were born, okay? So it, it, it takes a lot. So it's gonna be, you know, eventually CJ is gonna be like, hell no, this is costing too much money because if Royce doesn't have a lawyer right now, the case is not gonna move forward if Royce doesn't have a lawyer. So that means CJ is still paying for his goddamn lawyer and it's going to get to the point where she's just going to say, hell no, I'm not paying all this goddamn money to have a lawyer Why she don't have a lawyer. Because regardless of what, <laughs> CJ still got to pay for his goddamn lawyer. But now I do have faith in both of them that they can sit down and have a conversation like two goddamn adults. I really don't think they need goddamn attorneys. I don't think they need, you know, the whole court system all up in their business. I think they should be able to have a conversation like two adults, but this is all stemming from this home invasion. And what people have to understand is, you know, a lot of allegations were made against royalty and her family. So royalty have a right to feel the way that she felt, you know, because it was just not right. And she still have not received an apology for those lies, those allegations that was made against her and her family. Not to mention the constant harassment, the constant putting her down, the constant talking about her and her kids. It, it, it's just, it's not right. At the end of the day, it's not right. This is a single woman by herself trying to do what she needs to do to raise her kids. Every little thing she do, she's judged. A mother of five in the club. Look what she got on. Where's her car? Her car got repossessed. She's getting put out of her house. Look at her hair. She don't have the same clothes. You know, some of you motherfuckers that be watching royalty don't even have a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out. Some of y'all motherfuckers sleeping on your goddamn mama's chair talking about royalty. What she, child, these people is crazy. God ain't crazy. DJ need to grow up. Stop bringing everything to the media. That's your baby mama, CJ. You been with this woman nine years. You even proposed to her. You know damn well you love that woman and you was in love with that woman. Do you? Do I know if you're in love with her now? No. Do I think you still love her? Yes. And I feel like you moving out of hurt. You got to put that hurt aside and do what's best for your kids. The stuff that's being said in the media regarding royalty and her family is just not right. Now, the simple fact, you got Bride of Chucky speaking on royalty mama, and this is the same person that opened her home and let you in there. And this is what you turn around and do. You have to be mindful and careful what you do to others. Undo to others that you don't want done to you. Understand that shit. It's real. But you know what? Again, royalty is not going to lose her kids. Okay?
What do you guys think about what I had to say in this video? Drop down to the comments. What do y'all, how do y'all feel? Because I, y'all, I have seen so much hateful con um, content and comments about Rosy. Wow, this is some sad shit. But anywho, like Judge Judy say, I'm done until the next video.